You told me I can't work remote. Stop calling me once I leave the office. I was told earlier this year that we are to be in the office, on time, every day no matter what. We were told that remote work will no longer be allowed remotely under any circumstances. So why does my boss think it's acceptable to text me about an issue today, not only on my day off, but when I'm at home? I don't use my personal phone for work, so I can't hop on a Teams call. I don't have my work PC because there's no point anymore, and I was told explicitly that remote work is not allowed. If you can't treat me with some respect and leeway with my schedule, do not expect it back. If I can't work remote, I can't work remote period. Merry Christmas manager and get fucked. He can text you but you don't have to reply until you are clocked in the next work day. Seriously, those are his rules about not working away from the office. AKA, malicious compliance. Just block the number he has abused your trust you gave him when you gave him the number. Honestly? With the amount of spam calls these days? Don't answer any number that isn't in your direct call list by name. Don't answer, maybe block. Next time in the office when he comes asking answer you told me, I can't work from home, so I am unavailable once I leave the office. Call him at 2 a.m. Hey sorry I'm just getting to this. Busy holidays. But it must have been important enough for you to dig up my number from HR, so I hope it's not an emergency. There was a constant turnover of management at my previous job, and one of them was a go-getter who thought it was appropriate to call people at home after hours. She called me at 7pm on a Friday. I didn't recognize the number, so I answered. Me hello? Her hey. So, I have a few ideas about the meeting this morning. Me ah. Click. Mute his notifications. Definitely don't respond. Unless you're salaried? And even then it can wait until you're supposed to be working. I had to learn to not care about work when I wasn't at work. I got too burned out and it cost me. I would ignore any outside of the office communication. Practice some our malicious compliance. Block his number and then use it for spamming. Try to sign him up for everything you can. Especially cat facts. Message him back as soon as you get into the office no problem boss, I just clocked in and I'll get right on it. No remote work means no work when you're not in the office. If there's a work problem and it occurs when you're not in the office then it's someone else's problem, not yours. I'd block them, worked as a drone operator one summer and had my manager spam me one day while I was operating a drone. Calling one minute after the other for near on half an hour. When I landed the drone I finally answered. I still remember sitting in my car with the phone on speaker to ask him immediately for hours email. Needless to say he apologized immediately gave me hours email, and then found out I'd screenshot his harassment while I was flying a 30k drone. I got a more sincere apology through email, he couldn't call me anyways. Absolutely. Don't bother me when I'm off the clock. You won't get a response until I'm back on the clock. A malicious compliance no no, you misunderstand. We're not allowing you to work remotely on your terms. We require that you work remotely on our terms. Some phones, my little Android for instance, has a do not disturb setting which allows you to put some exceptions in so they will ring through. You could use do not disturb but allow family through for a couple nights and let the little fucker bank his bossy head on a blank wall until he gets tired. Or, you could pair his phone number WA ring tone which is easy to ignore. Think soft chimes or wind then ignore the idiot. I have a chronic illness and used to remote in on days where it would flare up, but I still felt able to do some work from the comfort of my own bed bathroom. They started cracking down on remote work, so I said fine. I'll just call in sick every time and won't get anything done. I'm out for the day, and I'm not allowed to remote in, so don't call me, don't teams me, don't email me. Off the clock. They did it to themselves. 
You know. It's a hell of a lot easier to organize a union cubicle to cubicle than it is Zoom call to Zoom call. Organize, win, and bargain. Otherwise it's just talking about the weather and begging. Tell your boss what you told us, minus the F-bomb. Very simple. Set boundaries. Unblock him long enough to send him a text telling him to quit texting you when you're not in office. No, they want you to work off the clock, but they're only willing to pay for work in the office. Still not paying over 40 hours, just trying to dilute your pay. Some of these companies just are a holes. Edited a few glaring typos lol. If work calls or texts me on a day off I automatically submit for three hours double time for any response I make. So if I get some random question thrown my way for sure I'll drop a response, 30 seconds of works for the equivalent of six hours pay. Even better if they follow up after the three hour period and I submit for a second instance. It's very lucrative for me to keep my phone with me on my days off. Yay for unions. Remote work is evil until it comes to you doing extra usually unpaid work at home and then suddenly it's part of being a team player. Post if phone number everywhere on Craigslist's ads. Here you go I like to hike and backpack on the weekends and as such will have limited availability. Proceeds to never answer the phone off work. Never set the precedent of answering, period. I had a job with hours that I could flex somewhat to facilitate getting things done efficiently. Work phone always on but no OT allowed. Certain days I'd be in early and leave early. Some days I'd be so buried I'd skip lunch and leave early. The new plant manager had a fit. He demanded I start at 8am, leave at 5pm, our lunch period. Okay then. Work phone on at 8, off at noon, back on at 1 till 5, off till next day. I'd leave for lunch every day or else I'd get no peace. Manager didn't like that but his strict rules. Fuck him. Quit soon after. Thanks for calling. Due to company policies, I must end this call hang up on him. He will call back. Hello, this call breaches company policy as stated previously and is exposing the company to legal liabilities. Hang up again. Third unwanted call on personal lines in most developed countries constitutes harassment. Especially in a small time frame. Wait until you get back to work. I am at work in the office now and see I have some messages. What can I help you with? Get fucked. Merry Christmas. You ought to tell your boss exactly what you told us. He wanted to end remote work, he got it. No exceptions. I'd never answer calls, emails, or texts unless I'm on site and on the clock. Old boss got mad when I didn't give a shit to answer and would call him back. New boss doesn't even have my number and my phone never rings. Fuck bosses who have no boundaries. One of my bosses would text me call me ASAP and I'd call him back two hours later. Never seen someone cry before as much as Joe. Fuck you Joe good fucking riddance. How good is this heading love some anti-work malicious compliance? Once I started doing that, my stress level went way down. Text my personal cell? Sucks for you I don't have you on my allowed list. Change your personal phone number and don't give it out at work. Turn off your work phone when you're off the clock. The working class in this country needs to start setting some boundaries anyway. This is why my work has a useless Google number and not my actual phone. I would reply just to avoid potential retaliation and just be straight with him. Hey I'm not available at the moment and do not have any of my work device so I can't perform tasks when I am out of the office. Plain and simple and understandable. I'm sorry, you're asking me to do work and I'm not in the office. I'm not allowed to work remotely. See you Monday. Block their number. Find new work when you can.